row. Shane Grady and Chester Butler in the second row. No Simon Griggs. Ed Barber locks up the scrum on the bench for Halifax. Two real giants who have come on loan till the end of the season in Jordan Baldwinson and Sam Wood. Joining Brandon Moore and Elliot Morris in the replacements. The Toronto Wolfpack who lost only to London and surprisingly to Fenerson in Toronto their last game of the season and they have a powerful looking outfit they lost 66-10 to Warrington the Talents Cup despite being in the game at half time in a bad tempered affair though there were a lot of cars wielded in the second half Warrington were dumped. I'm sure Richard Marshall's been uh, watching the video of the game against Featherston for Toronto. Gareth O'Brien lines up at full back for them. Matty Russell and Liam Kay on the wings. Chase Stanley and Gary Wheel in the centres. Josh McCrone and Blake Wallace the half backs. Ashton Sim, Robert Bezik. Darcy Lussick the front row, Andrew Dixon, Corey Patterson the second row, Jake Ebbett locks up the scrum for the Toronto side who gets smashed in the first tackle after Halifax had kicked off. Jack Buchanan, Jack Bussey, Andy Ackers and Adam Sidlow on the bench for the Canadian side. Halifax will be looking also to Avenger. A big defeat that uh, they suffered in what was Toronto's home fixture against Halifax, played at the London Scholars Ground, the New River Stadium, on a bitterly cold evening. And back to uh, Blake Wallace, who spent a lot of time before this game practicing his kicks downfield. Kieran Moss will run it back into Andrew Dixon. And Bob Bezik, a former Halifax player, of course. Bob Bezik, been around a long time now. Andrew Dixon was uh, almost once a Halifax player before choosing Lee and Halifax are back over halfway on the return from the kick on their first set of six. Will Ma well, had to slow down then to take the ball correctly. Something that Halifax will be looking at this afternoon. Chester Butler gets the ball away to Ben Eaton. Eaton gets up and plays it quickly. On the last tackle, Morell will go for the crossfield kick. Tyra's homing in on this, but it's just a little too far forward. And that's a big hit, literally big hit by Shane Grady. On uh, Matty Russell, which has left Russell on the floor needing uh, to use one of his players to get back up off the ground. Already Chris Kendall handing out the warnings about that one. Well, a missed time tackle by Shane Grady. And, uh, anybody that was the same size as Grady might have been tackled around the chest, but uh, Russell copping it around the head. The former Warrington winger, Bezik, gives it to Dixon. Grady's in again with a big hit with Tyra on Andrew Dixon Matty Russell is away from Grady and then drops the ball Johnson will get it for Halifax but the referee Chris Kendall has seen a Halifax hand there so he'll give the Toronto side the ball back well it's a good start by Halifax we're only in the first two and a half minutes though Grady making two big hits already well, it's the best defence in the championship against the second best defence. With uh, Toronto conceding 374 in the regular season, Halifax 416. Massive difference, of course, in the attacks. Referee speaking to uh, Darcy Lussick about his position in the scrum which doesn't seem to matter normally as Russell runs it to the Halifax defence back in the blue and white half of the field ball goes to McCrow no Ryan Brayley this afternoon no 
Nick Rawson, who scored 15 tries this season, another former Halifax player. As Halifax move out to make the tackle, Chris Kendall pulls the defensive line just inside the Halifax 20. Ashton Sims drives the ball up to the 20 metre line, and Halifax being tested on goal line defence. Blake Wallace stepping almost through the Halifax line. And a crossfield kick this time at the other side of the field, which Salton South goes for and takes cleanly, but then is pushed back into the in goal area. But uh, diffusing the situation, not a lot that uh, Salton South could do there with the pressure that was put on him by the Toronto defence. With Dixon and uh, Chase Stanley. Ideal conditions this afternoon. Tyra will look for a, a big kick, but it doesn't reach halfway. And Gareth O'Brien picks it up and drops it inside, and Toronto have taken it back 17 metres there at least. Halifax coming out to meet him now. Bezik offloads. Short ball is to Dixon. Shouts from a forward pass. Bezik to Sims. That looked further forward, and Sims gets Toronto to within. Eight metres, well Halifax fell by the wayside in the first 20 minutes in London. They'll be looking to uh, do better this time as uh, Quick Hands gets the ball out to uh, Russell and Russell stopped a metre away. Chase Stanley inside to McCrone. McCrone looks for runners, plenty of them in black shirts and Gareth O'Brien had Corey Patterson in support but didn't use him but support Loitering outside Patterson, but it comes back to the right hand side, and again, Salt and Stall is going to be tested. Russell goes up for it, and that ball will be taken by Johnson. And this time it's a Toronto knock on that uh, signals the end of a, a short period of pressure for the Toronto Wolfpack. Alan Pack's able to withstand that, but it's how far can they get the ball away from their own line? As Grady almost gets through the two tackles there. Three men over him once again up and play it quickly. Toronto slowing it down. Will Sharp in off the wing, trying to make yards for the forwards as uh, Patterson interferes and tries to turn him on his back. Sharp showing his frustration at uh, the attention shown by him. Halifax trying to move forward. It's, uh, this time it's uh, Blake Wallace and he will be penalised for uh, laying on too long. Halifax will get a first penalty well, uh, from the previous tackles in that set. Maybe that uh, penalty concession by Wallace may be a warning to his teammates. The referee Chris Kendall will not uh, stand any messing about. Ed Barber takes the ball up and over the 40 metre line. Finally dragged to the ground. Bezik the last man up. Ben K running across, gets it to Fairbank on a short ball. Fairbank up to ground by uh, Aston Sims. Ben Johnson gets it to Grady running the uh, inside angle towards the post. Gets to the 20, then knocks on. Well, I think he's saying that the ball's pulled out, but Chris Kendall not agreeing with that and. Uh, Saying that Warrington will get possession. So Halifax have managed to get into Toronto territory with the ball, not to the 20 metre line. I'm sure they're happy to uh, scrum down at this end of the field rather than in, in their own half. On the defensive line waiting, Wallace has moved inside, he's the first recipient of the ball, Blake Wallace, and he's put down inside the 30, one of the uh, many overseas players that the, uh, or Antipodean players that the Toronto side have in their ranks, Josh McCrone, Blake Wallace, Patterson, another one former Salford player. Nick Rawsthorne and Adam Higson scored for Toronto here in February but uh, they're not playing this afternoon and a 
a lucky bounce there comes up to Gareth O'Brien and O'Brien gets it out to Russell and Russell has knocked on over the line that's great defence from Halifax in Shane Grady and James Salter Sol and Ben Heen can't get back to the 20 metre line quick enough to play the ball and run it back to the Toronto defence well that should have been a try it had try written all over it O'Brien got a fortunate bounce went to the corner and Matty Russell knocked on going over the line Will Sharp was a major let off for Halifax Will Sharp getting a bit of a, a facial there from uh, Darcy Lussick because he goes down Ben Kay will go on his own and bounces off Bob Bezik and then takes it forward and Ashton Sims well the initial contact may have been round the chest but it ended up in the jaw of Ben Kay and Scott Morell chipping over the top behind Liam Kay putting the ball deep into, into deep in the uh, Toronto half of the field well there's plenty of poundies behind him as Aston Sims and I think only the fact that the contact was made on the chest there initially was Aston Sims saving grace because that's not where it finished up on Ben Kay Scrum down on the uh, 10 metre line. Halifax supporters making plenty of noise. And Gary Wheeler, formerly of St. Ellis, takes it away. Now Liam K. You can't afford to give Liam K. too much room. 25 tries this season. The top try scorer for the Toronto side is Liam K. We'll consider his background, Liam K. Dual registration at Doncaster. 74 tries in 78 games in Lee, 30 tries in 22 games last season. Proven try scorer with plenty of pace. Sims takes it over the 40. And he's turned round by the Halifax defence. Referee indicating the last tackle. Maruk Krohn will put the tackle up, the Kai kick up. Kieran Moss under pressure and then gets clattered. And that's another penalty for a head eye tackle. Dixon this time being penalised. So a penalty that will uh, initially help Halifax away from their own line by the 30 metres that Scott Morell's made with a big kick from uh, just outside the Halifax try line. Well, Halifax will go back, but uh, Chase Stanley was about three metres offside then. Tyra will take it up again into Dixon, Stanley and Russell there. So McCrone is, is the third man. Slow ball, Johnson having to go on his own. The Toronto defence moving up very quickly. Bezic going down heavy on uh, Johnson. Morell to Barber and Ed Barber looking for a way through the defence and still plundering metres with three men around him that's a great run by Barber to take him back into the Toronto half Will Mark will drive it up and Will Mark put down by three Bezik throwing the arm again Morell gets his kick away Patterson clatters him after the t kick had been made well Scott Morell gets up it looked a heavy hit from Patterson he committed himself couldn't really draw out of the tackle but Morell puts in another kick to force the Toronto side back to scrum on the road 10 metre line with 13 minutes gone, nil nil right. <laughs> and, uh, and Toronto water carriers on Medical, medical staff maybe just trying to give them a few moments to uh, set this off for this attack as Wheeler well, went past Morell but Will Sharp behind making the tackle Liam Kay's off again second run from Kay ends with another tackle but uh, Toronto up to the forte oh a big hit by Fairbank there on the uh, Jake Emmett but Emmett still managed to get over uh, 
halfway. And Halifax trying to keep Toronto in the centre of the field. Tackle on uh, Lussick, the former Manly forward. Ball out wide to Russell again. Russell will cut inside. But the defence sticking to him. Salt and Stahl doing a good job. McCrone with a kick out wide. Will Sharp coming forward for it. I'm not sure whose hand it came off. It's gone into Patterson's. And Patterson's put down. The ball is uh, kept alive. The referee is still with a hand in the air. And McCrone will get a chance. Well, he won't get a chance because Ben Heaton grabbed the kicking foot as McCrone was about to kick it across field again. And McCrone had no option then but to fall to the ground and drop the ball in the process. Well, it was O'Brien, the fullback, it was. Well, maybe it was the wrong man to go to. Maybe O'Brien, not with his speed of thought of the half back, McCrone in the ability to get the kick away. Well, in fact, perhaps fortunately it was O'Brien. Halifax resists another Toronto attack but Toronto coming from uh, deep inside their own half but Halifax took it back up to the scrub on the 10 in the last set of six Chester Butler taking the ball up to the 40 metre line and still trying to stretch metres with players around him Blake Wallace slowing down the play of the ball Ben K takes the ball Wallace was in an offside position Halifax will get six more tackles and Ed Barber will just be caught by Patterson and Sims and it'll go back for a, a scrum to Halifax just inside halfway 14 and a half minutes gone Adam Tanger to miss in this game with a, a foot problem again Simon Griggs out and Dan Fleming out as well but uh, Halifax will be hoping that uh, Sam Wood and Jordan, Jordan Baldwinson will have some impact on this game. Ben K feeds the scrum. Shane Grady gets it away to Steve Tyra. Tyra caught by three, gets to the 40, still trying to force his way forward on his knees. Get pretty quick play the ball away. Fairbank takes it into Ashton Sims and Jacob Emmett. Will Maher. Trying to spin out of the tackle. He's got Halifax almost up to the Wolfpack 20 metre line. Morell switches it back. Kieran Moss to Johnson. Johnson kicks behind Russell. And Russell falls on the ball and makes it safe five metres out from the Wolfpack line. Chase Stanley will bring it forward. And Shane Grady. Was it just to have been offside by the referee Chris Kendall? Two sides. It's two sides. I've just been live one. Kick for touch from O'Brien. Joined uh, mid season. Kenneth O'Brien doing this. Winton, Warrington, Castleford and Saints on his uh, CV of his previous clubs. Oh, Swinton, Cass and Saints were all uh, dual registration deals. Oh, he's well up into the line now. Is O'Brien trying to make the extra man on that far side as Wallace gets it to Corey Patterson for Halifax. <laughs> Putting four defenders in on Corey Patterson. The day doing that, of course, is having enough left in the tank to be able to uh, move across the field long ball out to Chase Stanley and this time the pass is forward it, uh, the appeal came from the Halifax outside defending line then so Halifax breathes a sigh of relief again Richards, Marshall, side hold out. Another onslaught from Toronto. And Richard Marshall gaining the accolades of the Rugby League World as the second best coach in all competitions in the UK this week or this month. 
and his team doing him proud so far. Oh, the old Toronto 2. Nil nil at the moment after around 20 minutes. And uh, Paul Rowlett has his four subs warming up away to the right hand side. Salt the Salt will run it out. The first run, three defenders there. Kieran Moss doing his best to make sure Salt the Salt is not pushed backwards. And Ben Kay surely winning a penalty for Halifax there. Catching the Toronto defence offside. And another piggyback penalty for Scott Morell. Puts the ball into touch just inside. The uh, Toronto half play continues. Well, one of the supporters, young supporter of the front, who uh, caught the full weight of that ball as it came down. Ben Johnson to Shane Grady and Grady. A big strong tackle by Dixon and another penalty. And will Halifax take the opportunity? To go for goal, well Jack Buss is only just on the field for the uh, Toronto side. And as long as Halifax don't get drawn into uh, some of the tactics being employed by the Toronto side. We'll be doing okay so far. Big penalty count in Halifax's favour for to zip. And Halifax snubbed the chance of the two to look for uh, more points if they can get them well, from 30 metres out it's not going to be easy Gareth O'Brien orchestrating his defensive line at the back Morell gets it away Chester Butler storms onto it and Bus Butler gets to the 20 metre line tries to get out and play it quickly and there's a Toronto player in the way and surely that could have been a yellow card Dixon, uh, Emmett rather making no attempt whatsoever to move away from the play of the ball Again, the option of the two has been turned down as Halifax go in search of the first try of this game. Ben Kay to Morell, Morell out to Kieran Moss who has to go back a couple of metres to regather possession. Kieran Moss seeing a little bit of a gap and gone for it but it's quickly closed up. Patterson holding Kieran Moss down, come to the left hand side with Fairbank to Johnson, Johnson to Grady. And Grady tackled by Dixon. Ben Johnson out to Morell. Halifax looking to create numbers on the far side. Moss steps inside one and just can't get round the outside. And Patterson again saving uh, Toronto. Morell to Ben K. A bit of uh, confusion as K chases the ball. Well, about a metre short of getting it. I'm not sure that's how Halifax wanted the set to end with uh, Ben Kay kicking, but uh, Kay will give it to Chase Stanley. And Stanley, two periods at St George, Chase Stanley, Melbourne Stone, Canterbury Bulldogs, New Zealand International, Busset, former London and Featherstone player. Jacob Fairbanks caught in there, Ed Barber almost went for the interception there and the referee has called a, a knock on and he's giving it to Halifax well Ed Barber went for the intercept and looked as though he might have made contact with it but uh, he didn't and Halifax looking to bring on Jordan Baldwinson Brandon Moore and Sam Wood Baldwinson and Wood making the Halifax debuts and John and Baldwinson well if he shows the same shows up the same for Halifax he did against Halifax for Featherston where he's been on loan for most of the last two seasons and Halifax have made a good opposition Sam Wood on loan from Huddersfield to the end of the season and a, a bit of an unknown entity 
Tyler tries to go around the outside of Dixon. Johnson to Fairbank. It's be okay now, but uh, getting some treatment there from three Toronto defenders just outside the Halifax Forte. Baldwinson will take his first run and take it over halfway. And here's Sam Wood. So he's a big fella, is Sam Wood. He's got a lot of strapping on that left knee. Looking to get up and play it quickly. Morell gets it to Chester Butler and Butler wrestling with Blake Wallace and still going forward even with Gary Wheeler around him last tackle now it's back to Morell for the kick and Tyra's homing in on it again knocks it back inside it just goes away from him it's come off a Toronto ham and there's an obstruction waved away by the referee Halifax thought they should have had possession back there Chase Stanley gets it away to Jack Bussey and Bussey He's tackled 25 metres out from the Toronto line. Adam Sidlow on and gets the offload away to Bob Bezik who's allowed time to run. And then the ball goes outside to Wheeler. Wheeler gets inside the tackle of Sam Wood who actually looks to be limping but uh, he's gone back into the defensive line. McCrone gets it to O'Brien and O'Brien put down on the Halifax 20, gets the quick play of the ball, Johnson out quickly and penalised Halifax offside and Bussey takes it to the 10 metre line and Paul Rowlett will snub the opportunity with the two points, Jack Buchanan will take it up from the West Tigers and Widnes Vikings player well, the close and threatening Sidlow is over the line. Halifax trying to drag him out of play, but they've held him up over the line. Well, they've put some power on him, Buchanan and Sidlow of uh, Toronto. Just over 23 minutes gone, and uh, Sidlow will come back and play on the 10 metre line. Dixon gets it away and the run back inside from Dixon takes him to within five metres of the Halifax line. Bussey moves into acting half and there's another penalty conceded by Halifax with uh, Steve Tyra taking too long to get away from the play of the ball. This might be uh, a really big test for Halifax with Buchanan charging it in. And Sidlow will be about as well lighting on the left hand side but it comes right Bezik goes on his own Halifax put uh, two defenders in his way Buchanan moves into acting half out to Wallace long ball out to Wheeler Wheeler gets it away to Liam Kay the shouts for the forward pass again but it doesn't matter it's the last tackle I think signalled by the referee it'll be or has he stopped the clock with an injury to Liam Kate. Oh, Halifax. So far, managing to block everything Toronto have thrown at them. And Liam Kay looks to be in some pain there. Paul Rowley won't want to lose his top try scorer and I'm sure Liam Kay won't want to leave the field but the doctor is uh, going over to attend to him and this will give Halifax uh, an opportunity to uh, just restore some oxygen to the lungs and uh, Let's refresh them a little bit as they try to repel another Toronto wave. Well, Liam Kate looks like he's needing assistance to leave the field, so that is a blow to Paul Rowley, losing his top try scorer. 25 this season. And 
30 tries last year. 74 tries in 78 games and Lee's White. Paul Rowley took him to the Toronto Wolfpack, so it'll be a, a shuffle around for Paul Rowley. And the Ackers comes on. But uh, Andy Ackers certainly not a winger. He left London Broncos last season because he was homesick for up north. He finished up playing for Toronto, so doesn't spend a lot of time up north, but spends it in Northern America. Last tackle, McCrone out the back to O'Brien who chips it forward and it's picked up by Ben Johnson. Johnson's away from two and they're coming back in droves, the Toronto Wolfpack. And what? Well, I'm not quite sure what uh, Jack Bussey was thinking about then after he tackled Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson retaliated and managed to get away with it and Brandon Moore goes down the middle gets it away to Kieran Moss Moss well managed to brush away McCrone but then was caught by the uh, fullback O'Brien Morell gives it to Sam Wood and Sam Wood taking it forward with three defenders around him up to the 20 metre line Brandon Moore to Scott Morell Morell out to Ben Heaton ball's lost and fortunately for Halifax Wheeler was unable to pick it up Great run from uh, Brandon Moore down the middle of the field and Kieran Moss was knocked off balance in the tackle from uh, the fullback O'Brien. Halifax showing that they carry a threat as well as the Toronto Wolfpacks I do. And almost proved it there. Ball inside to McCrone. McCrone tackled just outside the 20. Shea Grady pulls uh, Sam Wood off McCrone, who complains. Quick play of the ball. Patterson, or Buchanan rather, gets the ball. Patterson's moved out into the centre. Picked up by uh, Andy Ackers. And then uh, getting a sympathetic applause from the Halifax supporters as he's uh, chaired from the field by two of the Toronto medical staff. Jack Boot Cannon carries the ball forward. Last tackle. Look for O'Brien to put the kick into the corner again. And Salt and Stahl able to defuse the situation, but a, a knock on by the Wolfpack in the in goal area. Means that Salt and Stahl is able to bring it back and give it to Will Sharp, who tried to run over Josh McCrone, but had assistance from Buchanan. That's another Halifax penalty. Buchanan complaining. But well, the ball squeezed out in a two man tackle. Morell puts the ball into touch and it's evenly matched at the moment at this year between Toronto and Halifax. Baldwinson. He's made four appearances for Wakefield already this season. Played in the second team at, uh, at Wigan with Sam Wood last week. Morell gets it away to Johnson, Kieran Moss gets it to Tyra, who does well Tyra, under pressure from Chase Stanley, had to have two goals but made it safe and having a few words with Jack Bussey when he got up then, I think Jack Bussey making a real nuisance of himself since he came on, in more ways than one, Brandon Moore to Morell, Morell to Kieran Moss, Moss out to Ben Heaton and the ball knocked forward by a Toronto hand. So Gary Wheeler 
will waste his time running for the ball as it'll come back. Halifax to be allowed to put more pressure on that Toronto line on the uh, well inside the Toronto 20. Well, I think there's two Toronto players trying to pull the wool over the referee's eyes there by moving forward to the 20 where they thought the scrum was going to be. But it will take place just inside the 20. Just over 11 minutes left in a, a first half with no scores as yet. Maybe Halifax can conjure one up from 17 metres out. Ben Johnson to Will Sharp. And Will Sharp into Jack Bussett. Jack Bussett needing assistance from Buchanan to bring Will Sharp down. Brandon Moore gets it to Jordan Baldwin who launches himself into three defenders. Jacob Fairbank is replaced. Ben Johnson looks for runners and almost put Shane Grady through the gap and Grady's brought down two metres away from the line and Halifax appeal for a penalty again. Morell gets it out to Chester Butler. Butler for the line. Can he get the ball down? Can he get over the line? And Toronto managed to bring him back into the field of play. Will he ever get to play the ball? Eventually the Toronto defence let go of him. Baldwinson from a standing start. Last tackle. Back to Morell. Out wide for Sharp, but too high and too wide for Will Sharp on the wing to bring that one in. First poor kick from uh, Scott Morell. Sidlow takes the ball almost to the edge of the Toronto red zone. Akers puts the pass out. Toronto make 10 metres. Akers picks up one handed again and gets it to the support of his Bob Bezik. Buchanan going nowhere there. Halifax closing in quickly with the Elliot Morris and Brandon Moore and McCrone forced into the kick downfield again. He's got no trouble, Kieran Moss. Well, Kieran Moss has uh, plenty of Toronto defenders moving up quickly to chase the kick. And a good set from Halifax, forcing McCrone into the kick. Salt and Stall will take it into three on the 20. And they're in trouble putting Salt and Stall down there with the three Toronto defenders. Brandon Moore to Elliot Morris. And Morris gets to the 30 metre line. Morell to Will Sharp, who uh, managed to set round the first line of defence and then referee shrill blow of the whistle. Just telling the players to separate. Halifax penalty. Scott Morell. Morell puts Halifax back into the Toronto half with uh, just over eight minutes on the clock. Elliot Morris. Beats the charge from Sidlow, but not the reinforcements. Uh, Vakas and Buchanan. Wood gets it away to Baldwinson, steps out of the tackle, gets it to Kieran Moss. Moss away to Tyra. Tyra looks back inside for Moss, puts the ball down though, and that'll be a knock on Halifax. Well, a rush of blood to the head. Obviously, Moss must have called for it. 
Taylor tried to get it away. Needing to uh, respect the possession a little bit more, especially so close to the Toronto try line. But I suppose it's there are worse, worse places to turn the ball over. Halifax well, really wouldn't want to turn it all over at all. Then we've allowed uh, Toronto a passage out of their uh, red zone. Patterson. We'll only just get over the white marking, it is the Toronto 20 metre line. And Halifax trying to restrict the Toronto go forward. Sid Lowe has put the ball down, Halifax have come up with it and Ben Heaton tries to counter attack. And fancies a bit of afters with Jack Buchanan, I think. Or Patterson and, uh, three defenders having trouble with Chester Butler there unable to put him down Elliot Morris head on into Adam Sidlow with some assistance from uh, Emmett and Benny went for the pass then but it never reached him Paul ball put down by Halifax again Wheeler tackled by Baldinson, Jay Stanley taking what looked like a forward pass, taking a tackle on the 40 metre line. Emmett just managing to keep hold of it, and Halifax are a judge to being offside. Well, crucial time for Halifax now, five and a half minutes to half time. And O'Brien puts the ball into touch on the far side. Toronto will set up an attack from the Halifax 20 metre line. Bezik takes it up 10 metres. And Halifax find themselves stood on their own line defending. Two good positions where they put the ball down. Sidlow takes them to within 7 metres. Hackers looking left. Finds Wallace and Wallace went for the glory. Super tackle by Ed Barber. And is that the first try for the Toronto Wolfpack? Well, it's second 36, 35 and a half minutes for Toronto to break the Halifax defence. And Andy Hackers has broken the deadlock with a search over the line. I think the Halifax fans will be going back to uh, the pass on halfway, which look forward to Blake Wallace. Uh, Chase Stanley, rather, who took the forward pass. And Toronto go back. to halfway well, Halifax has not given a chance at the start of the championship season and even less of a chance of having any impression on uh, the middle eights we'll try converted by Gareth O'Brien Well, if we were take it over the last uh, five or ten minutes, it's against the runner play because twice Halifax have put the ball down in the Toronto red zone. They've held their own for most of the game. But Andy Acker seemed to go over very easily there as Sidlow runs the ball out. There's a posse of Halifax defenders waiting for him 15 metres out from the Toronto line. Well, we're looking for a penalty then with Toronto. Referee wave play on. Busset drives it forward, gets up and plays it quickly. Halifax could be struggling. Ackers into Grady. And Grady needing some assistance and getting it from Brandon Moore. Jack Bussey making a nuisance of himself again. Kieran Moss takes the ball. 
manages to get back to his feet and gives it to Saltlestall in a dangerous position. Saltlestall looked to throw out the long pass, but eventually falls with a tackle five metres out. Morell gives it to Will Sharp, and Will Sharp charges the ball up well. It's a very late attempt, a laboured attempt for the Toronto Wolfpack to get back the full 10 metres there. Well, Adam Sidlow stood in front of the referee <coughs> and allowed to uh, continue as Brandon Moore goes from acting half. Again, the markers didn't particularly look square, but the uh, referee allows it to continue with Brandon Moore going down the last tackle. Ball goes to Morell, who just uh, puts it into the red zone, and Gary Wheeler comes inside, takes the ball with a just over a minute and a half left in the first half with Toronto, and again, the ball to Chase Stanley, again look forward then. He gets up to the 40, and Andrew Dixon takes it to halfway, good tackling again from Halifax. Well, another penalty. And O'Brien given another opportunity. Which Halifax will have to repel. Toronto from... And it's almost the same start again from the 20th. Bezik makes the first 10. Wallace to Emmett and Emmett taking down seven metres out and it's building up Simmer that last try Arkers goes to the left hand side Blake Wallace steps again he knows he's near the line but he can't get the arm out far enough to touch it down Halifax need to hold out for 30 seconds it goes back to McCrone McCrone to O'Brien O'Brien to Busset and Busset put down Five metres out, O'Brien moves into acting half, gets it to McCrone, and McCrone to Ackers, Ackers to Wallace, almost a mistake there. Well, there is there as Will Sharp picks it up for Halifax, and they'll uh, drag him towards the touchline, but it'll go Halifax's way for the knock on, but there'll be no more play. The Hooter will sound for the end of the first half, a half in which Halifax held their own and more than matched their. Uh, Highly paid opponents, only throwing the ball away twice in key positions in the uh, red zone. Toronto being pushed all the way and it was Andy Ackers who broke the deadlock, going over for a, a soft try re -elect. After Halifax had been building pressure, but they'll come off the pitch heartened by the fact that they're only trailing six points to nil. Interesting conversation going on there between Jake Emmett and Will Sharp as they leave the field. I think Halifax leaving the field. And in return, Halifax have uh, struggled to create as many openings, although they've had the ball twice in the Toronto red zone and uh, managed to lose possession. So Brian gets the second half underway. And Halifax will and bring it away and already there's appeals for the high tackle on uh, Jordan Baldwinson Scott Morell will try to take it away and he gets clattered by the Toronto defence and Halifax struggling to get away from the tackle as ball's put down by Chester Butler Bad mistake, will it prove costly or can Halifax uh, to our refresh there after a 10 minute break? Well, the Pierre Rowley has gone for uh, the power more than the pace, although they had Liam K playing. Lots of Ryan Braley being left out, Nick Ross though. Oh, Halifax have matched the power. But, uh, work to do as uh, Andrew Dixon first takes the first drive to the Halifax line, Akers away to Sidlow 
and Sid Lowe to within 15 metres of the Halifax line and the last thing Halifax want to do is concede points early in the second half McCrone threatening to go through there but eventually mobbed by three doesn't go to ground so that allows a quick play of the ball and Emmett will take the ball forward another former lead player Jacob Emmett for time with Saints as well as O'Brien kicks through and Grady will drop on the floor of it for Halifax sorry so Salt and Stahl out to the 20 metre line we'll just be on Brandon Moore quick play the ball to Will Sharp and Ben Eaton charges it into the Toronto defence Buchanan and Bezik all over him gets up plays it quickly though Morell to Elliot Morris gets over the 40 but uh, Chris Kendall has his hand in the air last tackle Morell goes for a 40-20 well, he's got it over the head of Stanlett but he's got it too far over the head of Chase Stanlett too far so that it goes out of play and it'll come back to the 20 metre line so we'll start to the second half Halifax in the first three minutes making the error with ball in hand and then Morell's kick travelling too far and Dixon is already up to the 40 on the second tackle for Toronto Bezik Taking it over halfway, Toronto making easy, easy metres. Far too easy. Sidlow takes it over the Halifax 40. As it continues to get over the advantage line, McCrone gets it away. O'Brien into the line from full back and he gets put down by Tyra and Grady. McCrone looking for runners and finds Wallace and Wallace tackled. 20 metres out, last tackle, O'Brien oh, kicks out wide, it's coming down on the Halifax try line, well the, rep, the officials have decided that I think Salt and Sol got his hands to that, well they're the only ones that think he did. look of disbelief on some of the Halifax players faces and that disbelief made vocal by the Halifax supporters in the south stand and Steve Tyra well is it the sweet spot this time it's dropped to Blake Wallace on the 40 metre line in the Toronto half of the field and Sidlow He's met nine metres back inside the Halifax half. Ackers to Buchanan. Buchanan gets to the 30. Ackers again to the left hand side with Wallace. Wallace steps. Well, Chester Butler slowed him down a bit and there's numbers on this side but Ackers goes on his own looking for a second try. Brought down a metre away. Ball out wide. McCrone with support, O'Brien gets it away to Dixon, Dixon put down 8 metres away and it's the last tackle well in danger of giving a penalty away there Halifax but Bussey gets it away and McCrone manages to get it off the way off the outside of the foot and Will Sharp comes up with it tremendous take from Will Sharp under pressure rose above the rest of the players around the ball to take it for Halifax, a desperate kick from McCrone and Will Sharp invited to run it up again but uh, not given any space Baldwinson Halifax struggling to make ground as easily as they did in the first half Ben Johnson steps one way then the other looks for support and finds Morell and Morell looks for a long kick and he's got a 40-20 and Scott Morell out of absolutely nothing Scott Morell and Halifax can play from here with Toronto still coming back well Halifax are waiting 
for Toronto to get back. I'm not sure if uh, the referee held that up, but Brandon Moore away from two, away from three. Ball goes forward. What is the referee saying? He's going to say a first knock on off a of Halifax and. Well, an open line for Halifax to uh, go out there. Brandon Moore did exceptionally well, but the final pass failing to reach the target and being put down. Will Mar back on for Sam Wood. Shane <laughs> Grady makes the tackle inside the red zone. Quick play the ball from acting half though and O'Brien is taking the ball up for full back, helping out the forwards. Jake Emmett is uh, up to the 14 again. <coughs> Easy meet has been made over the advantage line by this Toronto side and Ashton Sims offloads Ackers to Wallace, Wallace to Patterson. And Patterson forced to keep hold of the ball as he wrestled to the ground by Ben Heat and Chester Butler. Blake Wallace puts the kick up, speculator. There are players underneath it, it's gone back as Bussy kicks it over. Scott Morell will uh, manage to rescue the situation for Halifax as Bussy goes down late on Morell. Ben Heat. Puts Bussy into a, a second consecutive tackle. Three tackles, Halifax 10 metres out from their own line, struggling to make progress. Salton Stall <coughs> takes it over the 20. And Will Mark gets it away. Play on as Tyra tries to go around the outside. Stanley holds it. Last tackle. And Sidlow was nearly in the Halifax line there. Wheeler will run it back at the Halifax defence. Five metres inside the Toronto 40. And there's a knock on there from Wheeler. Ben Eaton was ready to uh, set off to the corner with the ball there. But the referee already called the knock on. And Josh McCrone complaining to the referee about something that happened at the other end of the field. Well, the only complaint from the other end of the field was uh, Jack Bussey's late drop on uh, Scott Morell, <coughs> which went unpunished. <laughs> so Halifax with another potential opportunity from 40 metres out Johnson to Kieran Moss who will look for a gap in the Toronto line Brandon Moore, Elliot Morris from a, a virtual standing start has no real effect. Halifax struggling to make progress. Morell turns it back inside. Chester Butler <laughs> making metres. Aston Sims was a third man around the legs to stop him. Baldwinson gets it away to Johnson. Johnson hits Grady with another good pass with Grady going at full speed, but the Toronto defenders waiting for Shane Grady. And once again, Jack Bussy making a real nuisance of himself on uh, Grady, forcing him to react. But he was in on the tackle then on Will Maher. Johnson kicks through. And Halifax have managed to uh, take O'Brien out of play with a big tackle. Look at O'Brien. Cross and covered it well in the in-goal area, so the pressure was on from the chase from uh, Tyra and Grady. 
managing to bundle him out of touch, meaning Halifax will get the ball back from the dropout under the post. That's a pretty good kick from O'Brien. Lands three metres inside Toronto half. Salt and Salt gives it inside to Will Maru, takes it back to the Toronto 30 metre line. Baldwinson this time elects to run at the defence and takes it to just outside the Wolfpack red zone. Johnson out to Tyra. Tyra looking for the big handoff and gets rid of the first defender. Couldn't get rid of the second. Ben Johnson to Jordan Baldwinson who's put down 15 metres out Halifax still looking for an opening to create the first try Ben Johnson to Morell out to Moss Moss to Ben Heaton but that's a good tackle by Wheeler on Ben Heaton last tackle looks like Moss might have been injured there Morell's looking for Tyra and Tyra got to it but just couldn't bring it down It'll be a turnover 10 metres out from the Toronto's line. Well, it looked like Tyra was going to get to it, but just couldn't uh, make it stick in the fingers. Ben Heaton receiving or requiring attention and now getting it from the Halifax medical staff. After a shaky start to the second half, Halifax certainly making the present felt as the second half progresses. Certainly not short of spirit and enterprise as they uh, force another error, which Grady picks up, kicks wide. Who's going to get to it? Oh, Will Sharp. Well, it's come off uh, Gary Wheeler, but it'll go back for the scrum. And uh, Chase Stanley taking a real clobber in there and losing the ball. Well, Halifax showing spirit and enterprise and defensive qualities in abundance there. As Chase Stanley was clattered and he knocked the ball forward. And Halifax get themselves another opportunity to attack this Toronto line. And the roof will be rising off the stands if Halifax can manage to conjure a try up to get themselves right back into this game in which they trail six points to nil. And in some more illustrious opponents. And certainly not overawed in any means. They're looking to avenge the uh, two defeats they've suffered at the hands of the Toronto side this season. The first one being their only defeat at home this season in the league. When they lost 20 points to six. So Toulouse away next week, then Salford at home, Ulkear away, Widnes away, Leeds at home, and then finish the season with another trip down the M1 to play the London Broncos. Ben Heaton charging for the line. Two men blocking his pal. Patterson and uh, Wallace. Well, where did Sidlow come from then? Oh, Morell's off on his own. Morell for the line. <coughs> Just didn't have the pace to get there. Scott Morell. Brandon Moore pops it up, and uh, well, it looks like Halifax might be trying to draw these big Toronto forwards into the middle of the field and fan it out wide. Will Ma gets it to Johnson. Johnson finds Grady. Grady for the line. And O'Brien. Manages to put a stop to Grady's run, two metres out from the line. Brandon Moore to Morell. Morell, run round, kick through is from Kieran Moss. And it's not a good one, it's another poor end to a set for Halifax in the Toronto red zone. Blake Wallace looking down the short side, but Heaton and Sharp equal in defence to Wallace as running attack Patterson caught by Chester Butler and Ben Heaton Ashton Sims 
He'll try to uh, back his way into the Halifax defence then. <laughs> Emmett. Wallace will put the ball into the air. Halifax did well. And Kieran Moss has done well as well to take that kick under pressure. Three to none to defenders around him. Well, he's not the biggest man, Kieran Moss, but he's uh, not afraid of going up to take the high ball. Well, it's Morris and Jordan Baldwinson being replaced. As, uh, Ed Barber and Ben Kay come back on. Morel put into a gap from uh, Salt and Sol, who's screaming for a quick play of the ball, but he's not going to get it. Salt and Sol goes on his own up towards halfway. Good carry from Salt and Sol. Into Jack Bussey and Andy Ackers. Morel gets his kick away. O'Brien underneath it. No real pressure on Gareth O'Brien there, able to take the ball quite comfortably and then we tackle on the 20 metre line. Chase Stanley making good metres. Darcy Lussick back on for the Toronto Wolfpack replacing Adam Sidlow. Bezik down the short side. Oh, good tackle from uh, Ben Heaton as Ed Barber. Took a knock there as he got in the way as the tackle was made. Well, Halifax need to get somebody onto Ed Barber pretty quickly. Hobbling back into the defensive line on the last tackle, but they've gone the other way. And Bussey off the foot. Two salt and salt. Gives it to Kieran Moss. And Kieran Moss, well, almost a hospital pass there from Salt and Salt. Kieran Moss, tackled by Andrew Dixon. Steve Tyra. We'll try and take it out and the shouts were offside and once again ring around the ground for the Halifax supporters as Shane Grady tries to take it forward. Well, Toronto extremely quick off the mark. Ben Kate goes on his own, hand in the air from the referee. Halifax haven't made the 40, he'll go back to Ben Johnson for the kick and Johnson just puts it down the middle and O'Brien covers it, gives it to Wheeler, Wheeler will run the ball out of defence and uh, almost around Halifax defence, Will Sharp doing a good job taking down Wheeler, Patterson will uh, drive it forward not too far, and Patterson looks like he might have come off second best to that tackle with Ed Barber, who himself was uh, punching his leg and limping in pain only a couple of moments ago at the other end of the field. Corey Patterson. Halifax are certainly proving their uh, physical toughness. Liam Kay already left the field. Corey Patterson may be joining him, possibly, as he's still on the floor. Well, Ed Barber recovered very quickly from the knock he took by being in the wrong place. Corey Patterson back on his feet, well, back on one and a half feet because the uh, left foot still struggling a bit he's going to play the ball he's going to try and run the injury off and uh, Halifax will be looking to get possession back as Buchanan takes it up towards the 40 for the Wolf Pack Sims driving it forward Packers, short pass from acting half. Last tackle, Halifax have done well to keep Toronto 40 metres away. McCrone will kick. The pressure will be on, but Kieran Moss underneath. He gets away from McCrone and Kieran Moss. <laughs> Kieran 
Mossen. Arkers set to each other in the middle of the field. Well, the referee has chosen uh, not to give any penalties so far in the second half, I think. And which way this one's going to go because the touch judges have come onto the field. Referee sees nothing more than uh, a few swings at each other and uh, we'll continue where we left off. With Ben Heaton playing the ball. Chester Butler trying to use the short side. And exceptional leg strength from Chester Butler there. Taking three men to put him down. And Ben Heaton. Well, he's getting a, a facial from Corey Patterson. Ben Kay from acting half trying to spin through the uh, tacklers. This is the last one of this set as referee Chris Kendall puts his hand in the air and Scott Morell drills it through on the floor. Hoping that there may be an error, but there isn't one from O'Brien as he pops it up for Wheeler. And Wheeler gets away from uh, Ben Heaton. Heaton has his teammates to thank for a tackle that's made and uh, Chase Stanley takes it up towards halfway. Oh, Dixon rather in with a strong run. Oh, a big hit from Brady. Oh, Darcy Lutty. And the referee has awarded a penalty to Toronto. And I think Gareth O'Brien will be taking the opportunity of the two points from the 40 metre. Well, it didn't look high, and Halifax supporters didn't think it looked high, judging by their reaction. The referee has blown for a penalty, which is uh, like directly in front of the right hand upright for uh, Gareth O'Brien. 34 goals this season. Taking over the kicking duties from uh, Ryan Brielek. Who's kicked 76. Uh, Ryan gives a bit, little bit of breathing space to the Toronto Wolfpack. Which came off a uh, Controversial decision from the referee because it didn't look like it was a high tackle from Grady. It was just a strong and powerful hit from the Halifax second rower. Morell kicks off into the hands of Wallace. Lussick charges it up again. Well, Lussick was uh, one of the men who did a lot of damage in that game in London, which Halifax lost 42 10. And this time, well, Sims is complaining, but the pass was forward, there's no doubt about it. And could this be a lifeline for Halifax back into this game? They now need to score twice. capable of it and I've done so against uh, lesser teams but can they do it against a team that's only lost two games all season and has the best defence in the championship Johnson to Tyra trying to get the uh, hand out for the big shove again but three defenders round him and again Bussy going down late on Tyra as uh, Brady drives it forward. Slow to get up and play the ball. Scott Morell runs it forward, gets it to Ed Barber. Good tackle from the Wolf Act defence this time as Barber's driven into the ground 12 metres out from the Toronto line. Will Ma, oh, Will Ma loses the ball. Then 
Pussy knocks on. Referee signaling, I think, a first knock on by Halifax. Giving the ball again. Away again. In a key position. Just an awkward carry and the strength of the tackle knocked the ball out of the grasp of Will Mark. similar to uh, Halifax's first ever foray to the middle eights when it was 0-0 uh, nil -nil at half time and witness went into in 14 nil at the moment it's 8 nil to the side from Toulouse and it's in the second period of 20 minutes so it's what Halifax have got left for the time that remains <coughs> about 17 and a half minutes We've got to keep all the possession as uh, Aston Sims goes forward. Bill Cannon appealing for the penalty. Back to McCrone. McCrone to Bussey and Bussey being given a little bit too much room but finishing up going sideways eventually. Plays the ball last tackle. And Gareth O'Brien. Oh, well taken by Tyra. No need for the panic defence and uh, got to be a penalty for Halifax there. No attempt to McCrone complaining to the referee again. Scott Morrell puts the ball into touch. Nathan Fairback replaces Brandon Boer. And Halifax looking to go forward again with Grady, who runs strongly but is uh, turned on his back by Bussey and uh, Dixon. Ed Barber, from a, a standing start, Ed Barber still trying to go forward and was almost lifted illegally then by the Toronto defence, Ben K2, Ben Johnson. Johnson to Grady and Grady with the dummy. Halifax within 15 metres, need a score soon to get themselves back into this game. Fairbank to Morell, Morell to Chester Butler, but Butler, well, trying to take it forward against a three man defence and turn round and put to ground. Last tackle signal by the referee, Will Sharp. Morell's kick comes back. Still the last tackle signal by the referee, Barber putting the kick forward, but that will have no. Good impression for Halifax as uh, O'Brien picks it up. Wheeler wrestled to the ground by Fairbank and Ben Heaton. Halifax this time trying to move up quickly on McCrone. And trying to limit the uh, metres forward at the Toronto side made. Busset. Tackled. Halifax doing a good job so far as uh, Toronto are tackled, five metres inside the 40. Blake Wallace. And Blake Wallace has broken the Halifax defence this time. He's got no support with him. Great tackle from Kieran Moss. Last tackle, Halifax defender still coming back. Ben Heaton trying to keep down as long as he can. Ball goes to ground. McCrown gets it out wide and Oh, a pass that's gone two metres forward into touch. And that is why uh, Andrew Dixon's a second rower and not a centre. Tried to get the ball out to chase Stanley. Well, it was nearer the Halifax scoreboard operator than it was to uh, the support. Jordan Baldwinson comes back on for Ed Barber who's uh, limped off the field. Morell, Halifax looking to get it across the full width of the field. And Ben Heaton tackled by Patterson. 
Morrell to Will Sharp and the screams at the referee for the offside again. Jordan Baldwinson back on for Halifax. Almost gets through the tackle, just so ankle tap by Dixon. Sidlow back on for Jack Busset and Fairbank. Trying to carry the ball forward for Halifax who are on the last tackle and still in their own half and Morell opts for one into the air and Johnson chasing after it but O'Brien is a quality full back, gets away from Johnson, gets over the 20. Good return from uh, the former Saints man there as Sidlow's tackled. And 12 of 12 and three quarter minutes left and Dixon well, still playing out in a, a wide running centre position but not opting for the pass this time as uh, Buchanan tries to go down the middle. Back to the short side again, McCrone gets it away, Halifax get hands on it and eventually it falls to Kieran Moss and Kieran Moss gets the pass away but Halifax losing ground as uh, Saltonsall picks the ball up, nowhere to go, but Saltonsall has managed to find himself a space, bit of space down the middle of the field and made tremendous metres back towards halfway. Ben K to Morell, looked to kick in Morell. Well then, took the tackle just inside the Wolfpack half of the field. Will Mar takes it up while uh, Halifax caught Morell. Has a couple of words with Jack Buchanan. Baldwinson runs it into McCrone and still going forward, Jordan Baldwinson. 22 metres out. Ben K looks for the runners and finds Fairbank and Fairbank cuts the angle back towards the post. Morell gets it to Johnson. Johnson to grade it. Looked outside, but the defence had uh, closed out the option of the pass on the last tackle. Ben K gets it back inside to grade it. Grady goes on his own, gets it out the back to Moss. Halifax desperate to keep it alive. Johnson going on his own, could be going down a blind alley. Saltonstall keeps it alive to Tyra. Tyra kicks. The ball goes out of play. He'll come back for a tap on the 20. And a few uh, arms in the air there as uh, there's a confusing range. Halifax desperately trying to keep the ball alive. Well, 
fact, blow another opportunity. Not allowed to bring it away again. So the soul to bring it back from a, a long kick and salt the soul again evading the first tackle Sam Wood trying to find a way through it takes three to put him down Ben K to Baldwinson running strongly again off the short pass Jordan Baldwin Saint Halifax desperately looking for points clock. Not against them yet, but uh, well, the referees allowed it to play on and then changed his mind. Well, whether that was a call from one of his uh, the goal, the touchline assistants. Took a long time to call it. it took a long time to call it. <laughs> well, a late call from the referee gives the advantage back to Toronto. Shane Grady was just to knock the ball on. Box still running, despite play not continuing. Chris Kendall not stopping the clock for some reason. Second sticking away there for Halifax with the referee not stopping the clock with less than seven minutes to go. Patterson. Takes it up. That's uh, well, still struggling. It's Corey Patterson with that uh, ankle injury. the uh, clock starts to become uh, Halifax's enemy real act with uh, just over six minutes to go Toronto leading eight points to nil the safety of uh, a two point two score advantage thanks to that penalty from O'Brien the only points of the second half so far Halifax will hope that uh, they can get on the scoreboard for the end of the game. And, uh, Toronto have a man down this time. Chris Kendall has stopped the clock. Well, for a, a full time side. They've paid as much as these players are. They need a lot more uh, medical treatment handed out to the Toronto Wolfpack players. to make the million pound game they're going to have to do it the hard way because Halifax possibly not the toughest opposition they'll play as they're only part time but uh, Ben K getting away with a, a forward pass there no complaints about that from the Halifax supporters no Toronto supporters to actually complain about it Ben K to Ben Johnson out to Tyra Tyra Launches one out to Saltonstall in desperation with uh, five minutes to go and time now against Halifax. Just trying everything they can to keep the ball alive, just to muster something. Oh, 
all in the end. I suppose the result was fairly inevitable as Halifax had been written off and Toronto were expected to win, but probably expected to win by much more than eight points. And the 20 points to six scoreline that flattered Toronto a bit back in February. Looks like that could be the uh, possibility again if Toronto go over. Bill Cannon. Put down 25 metres out, or maybe it's uh, close enough for a drop goal from O'Brien as Sidlow stopped 15 metres out. Hackers to Ashton Sims. Sims falls to a three man tackle, eight metres out. Bill Cannon gets it away, and McCrone gets the ball away. And a try from Dixon that will seal the match for uh, Halifax with more complaints of a forward pass from behind the south stand. And maybe reach the stage of the game now where, well, despite what you see on the field, that uh, Josh McCrone stretching off what looks like cramp. Halifax putting up another spirited performance. We're unable to break down the uh, Toronto defence. Our second home defeat coming at the hands of the same team which inflicted the only team, only league defeat on Halifax this season. O'Brien will try and take his personal tally to six for the afternoon. And that's no problem in doing so. Fourteen points to nil. It's almost a copy of the match against Widnes. Ladies and gentlemen, today's Halifax Man of the Match award, chosen by our match sponsor, Champion Wallace, underneath it too. Number twenty-eight, Sam Wood. Sid Law takes it over the 20. Wheeler stopped by Chester Butler. Sam Wood is uh, lifted up by Ackers as he tries to push him away. Sims his tackle on the 40 metre line. And no rush to get out and play the ball. Blake Wallace gets through to McCrone looking to keep it alive on the far side. Gets it to Bezik and Bezik just toe pokes it into touch. Well, will end the game with the ball perhaps with a, a minute to go six tackles look unlikely to uh, score but you never know but from uh, their own 10 metre line Ben K was put down Saltonstall takes it over the 20 
to step out of the tackle but uh, too many men around him for him to make any more ground Sam Wood gets the ball away Kieran Moss picks it up gets it to Tyra Tyra looks for the gap just couldn't get the arm away to get the ball free there too defenders around him Ben Johnson Sharp gets it away here go Halifax again trying to keep it alive with Baldwinson to halfway now to the last few seconds Ben Johnson to Fairbank back inside to Sharp and this could be the last play of the game they might not even need it the hooter is going to sound as Ben Johnson goes for the last play Tyra gets it away to Salton Stall and Salton Stall kicks over the top Gareth O'Brien will carry the ball harmlessly out of play and despite not posting any points Halifax have put in a brave effort against the uh, much more expensively assembled Toronto Wolfpack Paul Rowley's side coming to the Shea again in the first win of the middle eights but Halifax haven't rolled over they've competed all the way through and just uh, lost the ball in uh, key positions which has been fairly costly 